Hey guys, good evening. Uh, this is Alyssa Lascala here from Fit with Liss. And this past week, I actually did a segment on, um, you know, how your supplements could possibly have shower scum in them. So I figured for my next Facebook Live, I would kind of spiral off and go into more of like the weight loss or weight management supplements. That's actually the ones that I get asked about the most, especially from my clients. Um, so what I wanted to do, and I'm going to actually make a segment out of this for a couple days throughout this week, is I wanted to go through the weight loss um, brand and the weight loss supplements. Guys, this is a trillion dollar industry, so it can be extremely difficult difficult to know what products you even want to get. There are just hundreds of thousands out there and it's really difficult to know whether something's just the next fad or gimmick or if it really has science behind it and it's not just filled with hype. So my goal is to always be as transparent as possible with you guys, you know, deliver you the information so that you can make a smart, educated decision and know what you're putting in your body. Um, but what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to go through the, um, the product line that I use myself and that I use with um, you know 99% of my clients. It's the Physique Smart Weight Management System, but I'm not gonna go through all of it today. So what I'm gonna do is take the four parts of this system. So there's a cleanse, a probiotic, a fat burner, and um, a protein shake. And I'm actually gonna do a different segment on each one throughout this week. So today I'm actually gonna start with the probiotic, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna highlight the, um, the points that you wanna look for in a good probiotic, the things that you want to make sure that you stay clear from. I'm going to do this for each product that we have. Um, and then I want to, you know, kind of highlight about why, um, you know, this is the brand that I depend on, but so that you're able to go through, you know, whatever you're using, or if you're going into GNC or vitamin shop or your own bodybuilding.com or whatever, and that you're able to actually look through something and feel that you're able to pick out a quality product. There's so much out there, um, but you don't really realize that there are a lot of different ingredients, such as even things in the fat burner. And I'll touch on that later this week that the things that are helping to accelerate your fat loss um, are extremely dangerous for you. So you want to make sure that you're looking for the right quality ingredients, components, etc. So the reason I'm starting with the probiotic is because it's my absolute most favorite to talk about because if you guys haven't heard of the saying that your gut is your second brain, it absolutely is. And I'm that person that struggled with um, you know, gastrointestinal issues, stomach issues my entire life. You know, I was diagnosed with, um, you know, the lactose intolerancy and then the irritable bowel syndrome uh, throughout my life. But, you know, even when I got to the point where I was um, really comfortable with my fitness regimen, I was eating really clean, I still had stomach issues. And so that's my first thing to tell you guys is that um, when it comes to a probiotic, just because you eat healthy, just because you have good nutritional practices does not mean you don't need one. In my professional opinion, everybody should be taking a quality probiotic. And so I'll get into why um, ProBio is the best, in my opinion, compared to a lot of the other ones like Culturel or Align and things like that, or even just getting it through foods. I'll go over that in a minute or so. Um, but I just wanted to kind of go over the things that stem from poor gut health, guys. And we really don't fully understand this, but the first thing that I want to tell you guys is how much hormone imbalance comes from poor gut health. So I actually just read a study, it was from 2015, that they discovered that 90% of serotonin is created in your gut. And if you guys aren't familiar with what serotonin's role is in your body, it's a neurotransmitter, it's like one of the happy hormones, but... Think about the amount of, um, you know, depression um, issues that have been, you know, rising within the last several years, the amount of antidepressants that are prescribed. Guys, that's basically directly correlated to your serotonin level. So most antidepressants are SSRIs, which is a selective serotonin reuptake inhibitor. So it's just keeping the serotonin in your brain longer because you don't have enough, okay? So what's going to happen if you have a really crappy gut is that you're not even going to produce as much serotonin. This can lead to different mental conditions. This can lead to different um, hormonal imbalances. Guys, this affects so much. It's more than just blue. It's more than just, you know, girls feeling like they're having a fat day. It is so much more than that. And so that's why it's the first thing I always want to discuss because you got to get it on point. If you're trying to reach a health or fitness goal of any point, even if you feel like you've dropped that weight, you're going to have so many other health conditions that stem from a poor gut that you're going to wish you started incorporating a probiotic. So, and by the way, if you guys want to be able to, you know, post questions as you go, feel free and I'll try to answer them at the end. Um, but the reason that, um, you know, the gut issues are becoming um, so much more um, prevalent anymore, a lot of times is because of this issue that they're now acknowledging and it's called leaky gut. I don't know if you guys have heard about it, 
but it's officially been a condition that Western medicine is starting to actually acknowledge and label as something. But leaky gut is, it's basically exactly what it sounds like. So you have to think of your gut, you know, with the food going through it and eventually um, any of the toxins and, um, you know, poor nutrients that you don't need get excreted from your body. If your gut is leaky, if your gut is permeable, all of these toxins and crap is leaking out of your gut, leaking out of your intestines and going into your bloodstream and going into other parts of your body. And this causes so much inflammation and thyroid diseases, um, different types of hormone imbalances, guys, food intolerances, so much stems from this. And people have no idea. A lot of doctors aren't even really comfortable enough discussing it yet. It, you know, half of this desire for me to do this Facebook Live was because I had a customer reach out to me last week and she said she had started her little yellow pill, but she was looking at ProBio and she was wondering if it was going to provide any value for her. And she told me she'd been having stomach issues. And I said, you know, how you gone and seen a doctor? And she was like, well, yeah, but she said that, you know, since I'm having trouble, you know, just like being regular, I mean, let's be blunt here, guys, like, you know, just being regular, having regular bowel movements, um, having regular, you know, GI functioning, she told her to go take Miralax, just try Miralax for a week. And I just sat back and I'm like, I can't even believe that that was the suggestion of, you know, like a nurse practitioner or a doctor, that you're literally just telling somebody to go to CVS and get Miralax. You're telling them to get a laxative to fix their stomach issues. And that's why there's so many problems, guys, is because we're not fixing it. You're just, you're trying to flush out your system. Okay, great, you excreted everything, but you didn't fix what was going on there and it's gonna happen again. Do you wanna be, you know, reliant on Miralax or Dolgalax or however you wanna, you know, pronounce it, any of the types of laxatives that are out there? No, and that's not gonna, you know, solve your problems when it comes to, you know, any type of mental health or hormonal balance and things like that. It's really just trying to slap a quick Band-Aid on it. I don't even think it counts as a Band-Aid. But, you know, that really affected me. It made me realize that people need to really understand the point of a probiotic. And so the reason that I'm so passionate about probio as a probiotic versus, you know, your cultural, your align, those are the really common ones. I know, Denise, I, I see that you hear me. I know so many people that don't know how to deal with stomach issues. Um, you know, a lot of times we just, we go into CVS, we go into, you know, Target and Walmart, and we figure that all the probiotics are equal. They all have trillions of cultures, so let's just grab one. And that's not it at all. So most probiotics, they have billions, trillions of cultures. It all sounds great when it's on the label, but are they going to make your, their way through your stomach acid to your GI tract to do their job? That is the key, guys. Are they even going to get there? Even things such as, um, you know, fermented um, teas or kombucha or, um, you know, uh, let me see, any type of other, like, you know, fermented apple cider vinegar, things like that. Um, is any of that stuff going to last through the stomach acid? and be able to do its job in your small and large intestine. And so most probiotics, only three to 4% of them make their way to your GI tract. That's really, really crappy. When it comes to ProBio, they actually have this BioTract technology. Um, they didn't invent it, but it is patented and they use it within their uh, supplement. And it makes 60 plus percent of those cultures to your GI tract three to 4% or 60 plus percent. And again, if you end up getting a supplement that isn't absorbed by your body, we kind of went over this earlier in the week, what's the point of getting it? You're paying for really expensive pee. Like, so make sure if you're gonna spend your money on something, if you're really gonna try and get healthy, make sure that you go and you get a supplement that has you know, the proper factors in it, qualities in it that make it legitimate. Um, so that was, uh, that's the main reason of why I go with uh, ProBio. Um, you know, you take it twice a day, morning and with lunch. And I'll tell you, any client of mine that has started ProBio within, you know, four to five days cannot believe how much better their GI tract functions. So many girls that have come to me and said, Alyssa, like no matter how healthy I eat, no matter how much I work out, no matter what health practices I take, I still feel like I am like seven months pregnant all the time. Or I have guys that say, I feel like I have like a beer belly, but like, I'm doing the things that I'm supposed to. And so guys, a lot of it is gut inflammation. Like, do you realize how many feet 
of intestines are within your body. Think about if all that's inflamed. Like a lot of times, yes, you may have fat there, but there is so much bloat that you don't even realize it. And you're not able to absorb the vitamins and minerals and all the other stuff you take, no matter how healthy that you're eating, because your gut's not able to absorb correctly. So you want to protect yourself against leaky gut. You want to make sure that you're absorbing your vitamins and minerals that you know, you're know you paying money for, that you're consuming. You want to make sure that your serotonin levels and all your other hormone levels and your thyroid levels are all staying balanced because your gut is healthy. So guys, I really hope that you take the gut being your second brain part seriously, because this is the first step that you guys need to take when it comes to trying to achieve a health or weight loss goal, or even just recover from some type of, of health issue. So if you guys have any questions, um, post them below. I know that um, somebody says that they see a difference in um, their acne when they end up taking the probio because her hormones are functioning better. You know, the body's starting to balance itself out. Guys, it is incredible what happens when you start to take this. So if you have any questions about where you can find it, um, feel free to drop a question below or private message me. Um, any questions that I haven't gone through as I scroll through here, I'll make sure that I um, answer them right after this, but feel free to keep uh, asking away. And I will be doing my next video on the fat burner tomorrow. I will announce that time shortly after this. I got to figure out what fits best into the schedule. So have a good night, guys.